There's supposed to be one more vehicle out in the woods. I think I see it. Neat farm auction today. We're out here right next door to the sand pit. Quite a range of land vehicles here, but we're gonna show some aircraft and boats that we've never seen on the channel here before. So stick with us and take a look around. It's kind of a neat one. McCormick Deering Reaper. been a long time since that thing's ever cut a field and I'm sure it never will again lots of old horse-drawn equipment said the gentleman's 81 and he's just getting tired so it's time to sell out It's a pretty interesting old service body. Looks like a Ford. Powers body. Really, really solid shape. Just a few little dings and marks. That's a pretty unique antique bed. Built in St. Louis. Is that the date code? 25th week of 77? Presumably, I'm not sure. Got the 9 inch rear end. That thing is actually a nodular case. So that's pretty cool. Give a look at this for. Joe for the rest ranch. He's not here today, just me. He went off on a solo recovery mission to western Kansas. If I get a picture from him of what he's bought out there, I'll try and include that in this video. Square balers. Pretty old equipment, so it's probably been some decades since there was any active farming that happened here. Cute little John Deere. Can't say I've ever seen one this small of this era. Not that common of a tractor around here. The old Massey Combine. Disc and a drill. And this guy, GMC 5000. Be a tilt cab. Short and small truck, but very heavy. This particular time, scrap price is pretty good. So I don't know that this thing will go too cheap depending who shows up. 
overall very very good condition not all rusted out can't say I've ever looked at one of these in person hundred and forty seven thousand miles that's actually got the sixth digit in the odometer the black one is they're all black then they have the white one for the tents a lot of these trucks only got used within the distance of the farm to the co-op and see a lot of them that are under a hundred thousand miles In this condition, it's either parts, scrap, or complete rebuild on a different frame. Just way too many of these trucks around for them to have very significant collector value. You can buy one running and usable for twelve or fifteen hundred dollars and a truck like this that's sat you'd spend that just to get the fuel system and brakes operable and that's assuming everything else was good engine transmission tires so these just don't have a lot of interest and a lot of value they don't fit in the average suburban homeowners garage so your half ton trucks and cars tend to be the usual collectibles and truck it's got to be the right person with the right setup to tackle a project like this and they just come available running and well maintained because not a lot of farms use them anymore they're running semi trailers for their grain so if a guy's looking for a truck you can be pretty picky and wait for a really good one if you're in the market old wagon this old buggy thing's in really nice shape Restored antique. Got the rubber tires. Okay. Sunflower Buggy Shop, Yoder, Kansas. So this is actually fairly modern. Amish built. Even with the barn dust, this thing's probably 20 years old at the most. So the old farmer here had quite the fascination with sailing. There's actually three sailboats here. small version medium version and the large version pick your boat this thing's been sitting quite a while in the woods it's growing moss instead of barnacles it's got the permit from 14 crazy to think 10 years ago that thing would have been 
in the water. This stuff sits around, it doesn't take long. Pontoon boat. Railroad date nails. Got the year collection. It's kind of neat. I grew up, my parents' farm was right next to Missouri Pacific. So, us Gen X kids, we'd go out and play on the tracks like Gen X kids would do. Date nails on there were primarily 1937. There might have been a 36 and a 38. An entire box, 1962. Where were you in 62? Working on the railroad. Sports cards, postcards, buttons. He was a collector. Got the Hot Wheels Gremlin Grinder. Little bug. Volkswagen Type 2. Aluminum rowboat. It's a cute little farm shed. Got the fake brick asphalt shingles. Any treasures inside? Old chicken feeder. Not too bad. old farmers kind of resourceful they'd save something just in case they needed it A little green porcelain light with the shades pretty good kind of an odd ceiling it's got like a chicken wire with a straw or hay what would be the purpose of that insulation any of you know what we're looking at up here on the ceiling drop a comment is this the ice house that is super cool Wow. I might try and throw a bid for that thing. I think there's one little nail holding it. Pull it out. Circa 1930 would be my guess. That's pretty cool. Practical sailor. He was committed to the hobby. Little 
small boat handling what now skipper boating from bow to stern how to live aboard a boat screw tape letters So here's the glider. Fascinating piece. Fabric covered wings. Yep. How would you use this glider? Would you tow it behind something? have to be brave enough to strap yourself in that thing and see what happens. Antique telephone. This is McCormick Deering should be. Yep. Joe's got an interest in the semi trailer. Says if it looks good and towable, he'd like a bid for it. So check it out. One little patch in the ceiling. Look too bad. Most of the time, if they're going to leak, they're going to leak in the front. That generally has to do with having the corners munched into things that wouldn't clear them. Looks rotted at first glance, but it's actually just where things have been run into that plywood and knocked holes. So I'd say this pretty good shape overall every one of those scratches in the floor tells a story of a load that this thing's hauled but at this point in its life it'll be towed somewhere else to be storage kind of a neat little forge somebody's made out of a tractor wheel or is it being riveted like that what did that thing start life as
said this Alice that's running is the only thing that doesn't sell. These sheds like this, it's scary how little wood there is in one. I would not want to put something like this up against a tornado. I think it'd get sucked right off of here. But in this area, there's people lined up to build them. Little forge on wheels. It looks like he might have been using it too at some point. The forge tools. Fascinating hobby to watch, but not one I'd have any interest in participating in myself. The motorcycles do sell. Yamaha Virago, 12,000 miles, and the Honda Shadow. That's got 58,000 miles. Touring bike that's been around, seen a lot of country. All this stuff was pretty grown in the trees. And they spent some time getting it cut out and rowed up. Some auctioneers will do that and some they just kind of walk around and bid for what you see and you're on your own to get it out. 73 to 6 C10 and C20. 55 Chevy. Nice shape. Wish they were attached to the vehicles in that condition. I'd be a buyer. Ford pickup rim. Man, there's a tiny little boat. That thing's six, seven foot long. Little bicycles. Nothing too old in there. It is cold this morning. Like 15 degrees. It's oil drum storage sheds. Too much of any value in here, probably. Manure spreader and a very old manure spreader. Small gleaner combine. What's in the barn? Mower and a four wheeler. My guess is those probably don't sell.
There's supposed to be one more vehicle out in the woods. I think I see it. Little roadster. Yep. Is that thing Italian or Japanese or British? What is it? Fiat. Nope. Datsun 1600. A little rust. Not horrible. This side. And wrinkled. Sixties model, four speed, odometer's gone, but the key's still in the ignition. Closer you look, it's got rust. These little things, guarantee you there's somebody somewhere looking for parts off that car. So uh, this one definitely should be saved from the iron load. And that's the walk around. somewhere right you yes. had a title yes three, so three. so we'll get the title we just may have to go and get a lost title three four three fifty yeah. three and a half sir five four and a half and eight hundred seven and eight 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 hundred eight fifty eight hundred 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 seven fifty number thirty eight thirty eight thirty eight hey Honda Shadow. What all did you do to it? Same thing, just fresh fuel, fresh battery, aired up the tires, and off it went. They're both sitting in the shed, guys. Same deal, guys, you got a title for you, if you don't get it today, you'll get it for you. Fifty 
Alright guys, I'm gonna get $2,000 here. Up $2,000, TDKD, $2,000, TDKD, $2,000, let's go here. Up $2,000 here, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
Touched it, walked around it, kicked the tire, got on it, started. Something like that. 830 John Deere, three cylinder diesel. Three cylinder diesel. Two and a quarter, 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 two and a quarter,
150, you're the winner, sir. Number is 92, number 92. All righty, same deal right there. Got the trailer and everything, and I think I'm pretty sure the uh, trailers uh, uh, have titles because I saw Emily uh, making the bill of sale. Sell the uh, trailer and the uh, boat right there. Somebody give me 500 on it. 200 and a half. 100 bucks, anybody. $100 on the boat. $50. Anybody interested? Peace now or forever hold your peace. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with I'm good with my current marital status. <laughs> I don't care, Joe. 1 2 on <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I just bought it. Yep. Okay. I just bought a glider. Well, the sailboats are gone. Those three guys couldn't wait to start their new life of adventure and excitement. <laughs> Uh, the guy that bought the big one did. The middle one, really, I don't think the boat or the trailer was worth anything, but that one on the end, the smallest one, it was stored inside and it was nice. It was actually a Chrysler. It had little Chrysler stickers on the trailer and a little really? thing on the tongue that said Chrysler. It's not, it's actually Chrysler, it's not like Mercury. Right. Mercury sort of thing. Mercruiser. Anything good? Uh, we bought the Datsun and the glider. Uh, huh? Go on there? Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. It should. Well, it'll go on there. It'll go on there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to reconfigure it a little. Yeah. I got a sawzall. Yeah. Uh, that's the one thing I forgot to film. Ah, that says it's a whip it. Whip it. Whip it good. Whip it good. Smoke it good. That frame's really nice. Still has the serial number too. All right. Could go title it tomorrow. <laughs> 1922 barbecue. Yep. Twenty. My guess is like twenty nine thirty. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I would guess that would be the last thing to go on a car, though. As in. If someone has a car, yeah, they, need. Yeah. Uh, they, they wouldn't need this as much as they want. 
This has got that manufactured. Like these are manufactured specifically. Oh yeah. For they probably sold them out of a catalog or something. T.C. Whitney Sears. Yeah. So you didn't have to go booger weld it yourself. Yeah. Yep. Malleable. <laughs> okay, boys. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that sold, and then they had the ice house caution taped off. Oh, I see. The only stuff I really wanted was in the ice house. Oh, what was in there? A uh, chicken nesting box and a little paper <laughs> ice advertisement and a porcelain lampshade. Was Father John here? Uh, no, he was not. Look at all them books. <laughs> We are back behind, yep. You got to bid against Joe for the... I did, yeah. I cut a bunch off except for that one there. So... It was marked with black like Wade's tractor had hit it a bunch of times, so I figured if it didn't spear his tires, it wouldn't spear ours. 1970. Return to Earth. Yep. I do have the bill of sale in my truck. Neat-o. Neatest of O's. Those are laying behind it. I think they're spares off of another. I picked them up from these spots. I bet there's, I bet there's more. Yeah. Did she? Yep. Okay. Now we got two of them. Yeah, this stuff's been here a while, hasn't it? Yeah. All of that old horse-drawn stuff was just grown into these. Yeah. There really wasn't any more automotive stuff. There was just this car. Yeah. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, all those years of farming and the other stuff must have gotten hauled away or traded in, maybe. Grandkids got it to hoopty wagon it. Well, yeah, or his wife insisted on... Trading up every five years. There you go. Wow, she started life powder blue. And then got refinished and resale red. Mm hmm. Well, those are probably new tires when they parked this. We have an active Willet roll in progress. Is that one just leaking back out? No? Oh, now it's tubed, isn't it? No. no. Just random pieces of the car buried next to it. Here's the radio bezel. It's probably the most Another, expensive uh, steering, piece of the car. Steering cone. Oh, nice. <laughs>
the money. I bet it doesn't weigh more than 100, 100 pounds. 100, 150 pounds. Hey boys, grab that other bicycle wheel. Maybe. If your trailer could haul it. Did it? Yep. Was there ever any question? There was not. <laughs> Pull out the good hammer and get to work. It surprises me that they would just make it out of that soft metal like that. Of course, in 1970, not everybody carried a cordless drill around yet. engine block is in the back seat there. Or no, yeah. Yeah, and then the parts are in the trunk. Be a four. They... Right, yeah, looks like it's been hot tanked. So... They reverse engineered and duplicated a MG Midget. <laughs> Even more so that they painted it British Racing Green. Yeah. It used to be yellow. Yeah. That was a popular color in the mid-60s. Yeah. What year is this? I don't, I don't even know what model it is. I'm embarrassed to say, but... <laughs> yeah, it's imported. It's a little bit out of your wheelhouse. Yeah. Not as cool as that Ford Courier behind it. Oh, yeah. That is also a Mazda. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Barn Find Datsun. Mouse nest Dotson. Mouse nest Dotson. Grab a screwdriver, look in the trunk. And... Oh, yeah. This is like metallic. It's Japanese racing green. Yeah. <laughs> this is all. Oh, here's the. Console. Console. Yeah. Man, if this. It would have been great if before they tore it apart. Yeah. It can still be put together. Looks like something that would race it at Goodwood. Yeah, the old vintage. Tearing around the track. Have you seen those British saloons and stuff racing against it? There was one that was like a 64 Galaxy. Oh, yeah. And the guys, like, it was literally twice as big as the other cars. Yeah, sling it around the track. It would tear away from him in the straightaways, and then in the corners, the little cars would zip up to him, and then he'd tear away from him. <laughs> so I believe these are genuine magnesium wheels. Get the old Michelin Western Germany. Check it out. The top there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Made in West Germany. Are those 14s? I think so, yeah. The the the, the base is not bad. I mean, mm -hmm. the yeah. Off. Yeah, if a guy could... But it's not corroded. Right. I mean, that's nice and tight. Is this ma are these magnesium, do you think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Light it on fire and see. Yeah. <laughs> Put it out with water, and if it flares up, it was magnesium. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Got the vintage Dynaplastic and Omani. 
South El Monte, yeah. California. I mean, other than the sheet metal, the quarters, it's really it's it's quite solid. Pretty solid car, yeah. Underneath is real. You would think that this area would be good, a little rocky, yeah. yeah. And down into there, but it's all solid. Man, how would a guy like, especially your size, fit in here? I mean, you'd be like, you'd be like grabbing <laughs> <him> like this. <laughs> Yep. Probably at one point in the last 20 years, this was all complete sitting in that barn, and then some yeah. young kid decided he was going to fix it. Yep. Although the door handles, those are unmistakably Datsun. You yeah. squint and see a Z car door there. <laughs> yep, so project or parts, it's up to the next guy to decide. See it? Yep, there he is. That's pretty good size. Oh, wow. See the goldfish? Jeez. Right here. I see it. I see it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I was wondering a minute ago how this guy survived for a long year with all the eagles. You know? <laughs> <laughs>